I feel like too short is too short. It's it's setting the foundation just in case if it's his turn, right? If it ends up being his turn, he, he could tell her like, listen, you know, I said good things about you, right, on flat TV. So if you ever want to throw some pussy my way. <laughs> Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Man, check this out, man. If this is your first time on He Rants, I just want to let you know I'm just a random guy who likes to talk about random stuff that interests me, and I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. And if that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you'll always be one of the first people to hear the voice of Long Trousers. And at the same time, leave a like. Cause I'm so insecure and I see those likes, it makes me feel a whole lot better about myself, man. It makes me feel like I'm doing a stand-up job, right? And at the same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. But let's not waste no more time. Let's get right into the first story. We gotta talk about... Well, we're headed to St. Louis, man. St. Louis, Missouri, man. One of the highest murder rates in the united states it's funny people don't really talk about the crime in st louis it's ridiculous man i guess it's the midwest people not really paying attention but then again chicago right but we're talking about a real estate agent right uh this woman by the name of, i think lee ann bowman right you know midwest they always have an ann in their names like mary ann lou ann everything you know they always got the ann somewhere in their name at least the white women do right so she's a real estate agent in st louis right and then she Apparently, she wanted to pay $1,500 to a hitman to murder her mother-in-law. White woman. Her going out trying to get this hitman. I don't know. I don't know how you people go out and find hitmen, right? Like, is that something you just see off Craigslist? Like, oh, yeah, right, murder for hire or something like that? I don't understand for real, right? But apparently, she thought she found the hitman, but it was really an informant she was talking to the whole time. You know, you guys know what an informant is. An informant is just another way of saying a snitch. A organized snitch that's working with the federales or the local you know, local police, right? So pretty much, this is what happened. She went to pick up her kids, right? And her kids weren't really trying to go with her, right? Uh, and apparently, she's been in a divorce with her, with her past husband, and obviously past husband and stuff, right? Went to a whole divorce in 2018, right? And then she, oh, I think, believes right now she wanted to have custody of the kids, or she doesn't have custody. I'm not sure. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just the mere fact that this woman hired a freaking hitman to kill the damn mother-in-law. That I feel like that's the main part of the story, right? But pretty much, she went to pick up her kids. The kids didn't want to come with her, and then I guess the dad picked her up. And then at that point, she got really, really upset at that, so she. She found the informant, right? Found the informant when she was really fishing for an assassin, right? So the assassin had given her many times, many chances to say, like, no, uh, you know what, I don't want I don't want her dad and stuff like that, right? Because she really just hated the mother-in-law that much. She felt like the mother-in-law was one of the main reasons why she's not able to get custody of these kids. In fact, she's been so mad that she even sent text messages to the kids saying, like, listen, your grandmother is going to die, right? The kids then showed those text messages to her dad uh, to their dad. And the dad would like confronted her and she was like, Oh no, no, I wasn't I wasn't saying like she was gonna die, like like murder i was like she's older so she's gonna die because she's she's older and stuff right so she finessed it a little bit but i feel like at that point they already got their eyebrows raised right so she then really came at the informant telling him like straight up like listen i want this guy clapped i want him clapped now i'm talking about like i want him church clapped right i want him to see the choir like i said before you know women are the biggest snitches so eventually the informant let the the feds know they got her ass and then once she got caught up she then blamed everything on the informants and the informant wanted to do some type of scam and also wanted to go over there and kill the mother-in-law which is really really sloppy work because she didn't know that it was an informant at the end of the day right snitching snitching doesn't always get you where you need to be right and like i said before i i totally understand why some guys kill women when it comes to these gang related you know situations and stuff like that because women are quick to start yapping right they're really really quick to start yapping man it's like i love women so much man but sometimes if you gotta do something they gotta go you gotta talk about this guy six nine you guys know i've been talking about six nine for quite some time now right he keeps doing stuff that makes me feel like i have to talk about him man he is must talk about tv sometimes right just because he's so ignorant and like i said before we have to cherish these moments because eventually he will get got and once he gets got 
we can't talk about him no more so he's just gonna be passed away and i don't think he's gonna get the same amount of love as some of these other people who have passed away you know what i'm saying just the matter of fact that people associate him and as a, you know, one of the street, I don't want to say street, I was about to say, uh, this would be a snitch, all right? Some people associate him as a snitch, well, associate, he's a snitch, I don't know why I said associate, I don't know, what's, what's going on? The reason why I'm talking about 6 9 right now is because 6 9 I, I, I spoke on this before about him owing his security team, his previous security team, at least some money, right? I think upwards, I think 75,000 plus a whole bunch of extra fees coming into about $88,000 that he owes his previous security team or uh, unless it's a security team now or something like that. And I said, yo, if he doesn't pay that soon enough, after a while, some of the securities around the United States are gonna be like, hey, listen, man, we're not gonna work with this guy. So these agencies are gonna be like, after this guy's six nine, let him get got. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like he might be going through some money problems right money troubles rather it's because his attorneys rk and r right are coming out saying that he owes them sixty six thousand dollars right so he has a sixty six thousand dollar bill that he has not finished paying so my camera just cut off right there but hey listen i don't know if six nine put his snitch demons or some type of switch snitch wizards out here to stop this stuff but it's not gonna stop i'm gonna still report this right so listen so the whole situation with that is that he owes them sixty six thousand dollars right and this is due just from his last case right that he was able to you know the whole racket tender whole rico case and everything right and now he has another case coming in april i believe a court date in april right and they pretty much came out and said straight up like listen if he doesn't come out and drop these these bands right we're not gonna we're not gonna work with him so we're not gonna help him we're gonna leave him there cut and dry so he might be spending some jail time some prison time rather if he does not situate his money his funds situate i don't know if that was the right word but yeah put his funds in the right spot and what makes it look even worse right is that he actually spent a lot of money on a huge chain a chain that i think is pretty fly because it has spinners and stuff a little bit too colorful for my taste right but you know i think the chain is he said it's worth a million dollars right so a million dollars but you're not able to pay your sixty six thousand dollar bill as well as with the security bill and everything like he's he's avoiding all that so this is why i tell people when it comes to rappers you can't give them money you can't do the services they have to pay you up front right you can't do a pro bono and stuff like that right or it, it, it's just because once the money hits their account that's when they start spending money on the essentials like i said the essentials we all know what they are money oh wait i'm gonna say money you can't spend money on money right cars clothes the hose i suppose i just want to be successful uh, i don't know if you guys if you guys are too young to, to know where that song is from but yes cars hoes and jewelry too i forgot the jewelry but the hose is number one right that number one he was also seen out on a yacht with many hoes right so now you're on a yacht with hoes he's striking two birds with one stone right there hoes yacht you know what i'm saying but then i guess i guess the jewelry too but it doesn't matter son just as, just let's be honest as long as you have the hoes i feel like at that point you, you've succeeded you've succeeded in life right so I, I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes man because this guy this is our six nine might have to head back into the whole prison cell right and i'm pretty sure there's some guys who are waiting that's waiting to take that booty to town we got to talk about this guy too short man you guys know too short man um one of the cali natives one of the guys who set the foundation i'm not gonna say he set the foundation but he's a good rapper so everybody knows who too short is right you know what i'm saying they always play his songs at the end of parties sometimes you know it's, it's weird sometimes they throw that at the end of the parties to kind of mellow down everybody because everybody's been hyped up been getting twerks and all that stuff but it's, it's, it's some very good music that he, he definitely released and stuff right so listen the reason why i'm talking about him because he recently interviewed with vlad tv and once he was with vlad um they brought up boozy right because you guys know boozy is just he's just a guy when he comes on flat tv people are, are paying attention for the hot takes boozy's wild he says anything that comes to his mind and has no filter right so he brought up the whole situation from when he came and talked about Lori harvey when he was saying Lori harvey is not seeing his wife material right she's very very attractive and we got to give praise to the guys like future and others that have smashed her instead of giving her praise for finding these guys and smashing these guys in the industry right this woman is very very attractive and these guys were able to penetrate her son so that should be what we should be like yes these guys are the guys not her she's the one who's giving it's like it's like i said before man 
a group of girls can decide to go out to a party and they'll say listen girls when we go out to this party we are all gonna get we're all gonna find a guy and we're all gonna get smashed tonight right and there's a hundred percent chance that will happen but if men say that a group of men say like we're gonna find some girls tonight and we're gonna get some yeah there is probably a 10 maybe 20 percent chance that maybe two guys might get pussy. The rest of the guys is getting nothing, son. They're going home bad. They're going to be in the backseat angry as hell, son. Because they did not get any pussy. Because some girl might have cock blocked. Or they just didn't have enough game. But they wanted to psych themselves up with enough confidence to believe that they can penetrate some hoes. It's a sad life out here for men, man. We don't talk about this. Too Short pretty much put on his cape and decided to be a superhero, right? Decided to be like, yo, listen, you can't talk about this woman. You can't do this about this woman. I'm here to defend her and stuff. Let me not do that to him, son. He wasn't all like that. But he pretty much came with a lot of logic and he made a lot of sense, right? He came out and said, listen, yeah, she's messing with a lot of people in the industry, but you have to keep in mind that her dad, her stepdad rather, is Steve Harvey, right? So you have to see like she's always around these people she's probably seen so many people so she feels like these are the type of people that she wants to go out with right makes sense it makes sense kind of like if a child is a ball player you know the, the child of a basketball player or football player any type of ball player and everything right most likely the daughter might want to grow up to go out with a ball player right that's not always the case but sometimes i feel like it makes a lot of sense right but he's saying this he's like listen we shouldn't focus on her previous relationships right we, oh, oh, or what would he say? He said, we shouldn't focus on her previous relationships, but we should also look at her and see that she must be a nice person. People must find something about her other than her looks that keep these guys wanting to make them, I mean, wanting to make her their girlfriend, right? Other than the fact that she's just sexy as hell, right? Because he says in LA, right? This in California, you're seeing sexy women left and right all the time. It's not even, a, it's not even impressive at this point right there's just so many fine sexy women just walking around right but a lot of them are not able to get some caliber of men some of them can't get to trace songs uh, of course they'll be able to get smashed by them <laughs> groupies hoes are always there to get smashed that's not the problem the problem is getting these guys to wife them up right not necessarily like put a ring on them wife them up but wife them up at least put them make them their girl right so for her to bypass all these other women and be able to get these men to to wife them up wife them up it's just it's amazing so that means her herself she must be fun to be around she must be a good person she might have great conversations some of these other girls don't have that right which i think that was that was smart i, I feel like that does make a lot of sense there has to be something about her that differentiates her from other people but people forget this at the same time she's steve harvey's stepfather right granted it's not the biological father but stepfather right so some guys might look at this and see this as i want to smash steve harvey's children right i know that's messed up to think about that but that's probably just the way it is some guys just get off of that type of things right and also at the same time well mainly actually that's the main reason i feel like it's just like your steve harvey's stepdaughter so i'm like why wouldn't i want to pipe there just to say that i did right you know what i'm saying it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a crazy world out here but that's that's the mentality of a lot of guys and hey she might be cool but at the same time her sex game might be immaculate right she must she might do the double gack gack double hand twisty and stuff play with the tick with the balls and the gooch who knows she might be extra with it right to the point that it's like oh my god she has drained me dry and i feel like i don't want to mess with anybody else i want to marry this girl who knows it's a whole lot of stuff that could play a factor in this but too short he made a lot of sense and i respect his input on that right do i think that she is not a hoe I don't know. I don't know. Is Lori Harvey a hoe? Let's be honest. Is she a hoe though, right? She's messed with a lot of people in the industry, but can be classified as a hoe, right? Granted, we don't know who else she may have messed with behind closed doors. That's interesting, right? But I guess at the end of the day, it's none of our business. And at the same time, I feel like Too Short is Too Short. It's, it's setting the foundation just in case if it's his turn, right? If it ends up being his turn, he can tell her, like, listen, you know, I say good things about you, right? On flat TV, so. If you ever want to throw some pussy my way, I'm always open to catch it. If you catch me. 
But that's all the news I got for today, man. Uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well with the post notification. That way you always hear the voice of Long Trial. So always be one of the first people. And at the same time, man, leave a like, man. It always takes one second. Just click it, man. It always takes one second. I really do appreciate that. And you got to buy the merch. Mofo, man, offering females orgasms because we're so humble. And at the same time, well, that's not at the same time. That's it. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out.